Why, hello there. Oh, my phone's ringing. Never mind. But, uh, hello there. This is Captain Soviet, or McNinja, or Ron, whatever you want to call me, bringing you a game of Quick Live. Now, the people I'm playing against, I've been in a few rounds, and you can see I'm on the top with seven kills and one death over here. But the people I was playing against in this game were very, let's just say, you know, they're not, they're not the best. And, uh, so I figured that this would be a, a good opportunity for me to, uh, by the way, this is my first game of the day, usually. The, the game that I post up usually is my first game of the day, because I, for some reason, tend to do better. And, hey, look, an ad. Get free gamer picks, themes, and downloadables content on Xbox Live now. You know, I saw some things for the event. Some ads for the event on Quake. I can get those on camera. But, um, so, yeah, I figured this would be a, an opportunity to, uh, to, uh, you know, give you a little strategy on this board. I'm not sure... Apparently the map is called Eviscerated. I'm not sure which uh, QZDM it is, but uh, this is a very uh, simple and circular map. Here's the. This is one half. It's you know this. And there's a jump pad up to the upper area, and this is a very very symmetrical map. I, I didn't mean circular before. I meant symmetrical. There's two rooms. Each of them look exactly like this. The other one's right over there. Where I was just shooting plasma through. This is the middle over here. Oh, that guy's low. Let me just go finish him. Oh, he disappeared. And here's the uh the second half of this uh there's three main areas. This one, the middle right here, and the other side of it right here. So this is uh kind of what I was aiming to do. Just eviscerate these guys on eviscerated. Um so each of these two rooms looks exactly the same on either side of the map. Oh, this guy's gonna rage. Oh, there he goes, he rage quit. Um, so what you really want to do is, I don't know that there's any real area to, uh, to try and control so much on this map, but, uh, there's certainly some areas that you're going to want to watch out for, and on this map, prediction, I'm not going to say it's easy, but, you know, if he goes into one of these two rooms, there's only really two places he's going to come out at. As you can see, I somehow predicted he was going to be there. Um, so you can go either, once you come in this way, you're not going to go back this, out the same way. So he's either going to go out the middle, or he's going to go out through the other end. So you're going to want to be really in the middle area. So that, okay, so I see an enemy's over here, he goes into this tunnel, I'm going to be able to go like this and spam him out. Now, I didn't know he was in there, if he was, which I don't think he was, because my teammate was in there. And, you know, he's still alive, even though his HP is pretty, oh, there we go. So I knew that he was going to be on that side of the map, because my teammate was in this room, and I was in the middle. So he wasn't. He had to be on uh, on one of those two on uh, that side of the map. I'm not sure what room he was in, but uh, I took a nice little guess there, and just uh, came out on the side that he was at. Luckily. All right, a new guy just joined. I'm not sure how good this guy is. Oh, but he rocked me in the face. So it's not that. Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Chase. Text chase to uh, whatever. I don't really care. But um. Yeah, so that's really what you're going to want to know about this map. Now let's just uh, get some gameplay commentary in. So this guy I'm playing against is, uh, it's not really that bad. This guy, Panties, should, should you know, just stop playing on this server, because I don't, I don't think he's good enough. So let's just try and get some, okay, now I'm very, oh, hello. Now these teams are not exactly what you would call fair. There we go. So yeah, now I think we, we're definitely going to win this. This isn't even going to be a, a how you say challenge. Um, this, this should be pretty easy, actually. Because the guy I'm playing with is maybe a little bit better or worse than me. Maybe around equal. Probably has better LG than me, but that's not exactly saying something. My LG in this game, lightning gun, this gun, is so twitchy. I can't really... See, I can't really keep it on the guy so well. That's just because my sensitivity is too high for that. But I can rock it pretty well, and then rail well enough, as you can see. Another thing that I want to talk about today, just for the opportunity and due to the fact that there's really nothing else to talk about during this commentary right now, is strafing. So strafing in this game is what you see me doing right now. This is walking, right? And if you see that little bar, I talked about this in my first video a little bit. I uh, saw so I got rail. So if you saw my first video... What I was doing, okay, walking, you see the speed is 320, right? That's the speed that you're going at. Then when you jump, normally, it really stays the same. But you can see once I start shifting around and moving, it starts going up. The 
how fast I'm going. And the fastest I've ever gone is a uh, is in the 700s. My teammate is uh, complimenting us on our teamwork. Wink, wink. So I'm going to stick with him and uh, stop trying to explain this. Maybe he was talking about the other team's teamwork. I'm not sure. I can't hit those shots. I don't know why. I can't get those uh, air prediction rockets going on. If I get one on video, I will be so happy with myself. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna brag about it for the rest of the video. But there we go. That was a nice rocket. So yeah, that's another, that's another prediction factor. Being able to, to air rocket requires you to. Okay, he's over there. He'll be over there by the time my rocket gets to him, and, and you know, shooting right down there so that when he goes down there, your rocket will be there to, to say hello to his face. That one I knew I had him. Um. So yeah, here you see me just. You have to you have to know the map so that you can get around very quickly. And it's always a good idea to communicate with your team. For example, I heard he makes certain noises. People, the characters make noises. Let me just take There's a jumping noise which allows you to hear when he's moving around. There's a weapon switching noise. Certain weapons make certain noises when you're ho oh nice nade. But uh, so you, the reason he was using the shotgun. The shotgun is the weapon that you want to use when your opponent has very little HP because it's a it's a weapon that doesn't require much accuracy and can do a hell of a lot of damage. Oh, I took him out there. But All right, I was wrong about panties. This guy has a great LG, but nothing else. Like nothing else. Oh my goodness, good game. And that's going to be the end of this commentary. Just uh, just to finish what I was talking about. Maybe I'll go into the next round just a little bit. But, um, so strafing really just allows you to move around the map a lot quicker. And that includes rocket jumping and, uh, and, you know, just being able to, uh, to get there before your opponent does. If you know where your opponent's going to be based on your predictions, you should be able to, uh, to outplay him. And that's what this game is about. Out aiming, out playing, and, you know, using the right weapon for the right situation. Uh, you know, just going back to the shotgun, it doesn't really require a lot of aim, because if you hit in the general direction of the person, then you'll you'll probably get a hit on him, and that's why it's uh it's so used. Because let's say your opponent has below 30 HP, then that's a weapon that you're gonna want to be using to kill him, because it, it can do around 125 damage, if you hit someone with a full blast to the face, 125 HP off if he doesn't have any armor, which is basically a one hit kill, you, you know, in a in a normal game, if he doesn't have any armor or anything like that. But let's say he did, uh, and you know, he's low HP and he's out of armor, then uh, that's the weapon you're going to want to be using. It does do the most damage out of any weapon in the game with a full face blast, but you're not going to really get into a lot of situations where you can just stand next to your opponent and, uh, and shotgun him to the face. So, um, it's a it's just a really good weapon for, uh, for s I'm not going to say spamming. It's not a very good spamming weapon, actually. But it is a good weapon for... for s uh, I don't I don't really know the right word, but it scatters. You know, it's a shotgun. It scatters lots of bullets everywhere. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be the end of this one, and uh, I'll see you guys later.